The Waleska Murder House was built in 1868 by George Loomis and years later purchased by the Moore family in 1903. They lived there for nine years, up until the night hell came to their door. On the night of June 9th, or the morning of June 10th, 1912, the Moore family, consisting of Josiah and Sarah Moore, their four children, and two visiting children, Lena and Ina Stillinger, were brutally murdered in their home. The murderer or murderers used an axe to bludgeon all eight victims to death while they slept. Their bodies were discovered the following morning when a neighbor grew concerned about the family not being seen. Upon entering the house, they found the bodies of the murdered family and the two visiting children. The investigation into the murders was extensive, but no one was ever convicted of the crime. Numerous suspects were considered and questioned, but the case eventually went cold. Over the years, the Velisca murder house has gained a reputation for being haunted. Stories of paranormal activity, eerie occurrences, and unexplained phenomena begin to circulate, further adding to its notoriety. This place has become a popular destination for paranormal enthusiasts and ghost hunters. Many people have claimed to experience strange occurrences and paranormal activity while visiting the house. The identity of the murder or murderers of the Moore family and the Stillinger sisters remains a mystery to this day. Numerous theories and suspects have been proposed, but the case remains officially unsolved. Over time, many possible suspects emerged, including Reverend George Kelly, Frank F. Jones, William Mansfield, Loving Mitchell, Paul Mueller, and Henry Lee Moore. No relation. Kelly was tried twice for the murder. The first trial ended in a hung jury, while the second ended in an acquittal. Other suspects in the investigation were also exonerated. During the trial in which Kelly was acquitted, he had confessed to the murders in court, but the jury didn't believe his confession. Three years after the murders, the property was sold to J.H. Giesman. Over the next 90 years, the property had numerous owners up until 1994, when Rick and Vicki Sprague bought the property. However, after only a few months, the Sprague family sold the property to Darwin and Martha Lynn. By using old photographs, the Lynns began to reverse any refurbishments that had been happening since 1936. They used testimonies given during the coroner's inquest to place furniture in the same places it occupied at the time of the murders, intending to restore the property to as close to its original state as possible. As we talk about this haunted location, maybe the spirits will say a word or two about who killed the Moore family. Even if they don't, we will see just how haunted this location truly is.